Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News Midday starts now. Good morning and thanks for watching 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. I'm Danielle Kern Camp and I'm Danielle Garrido in for Mike Hart. Our top story KCSO still working to figure out what led to a shooting in Lamont Thursday night that put one man in the hospital with moderate injuries. Deputies responded to the area of Paradise Road and Kenmore Avenue just before 8 p.m. and found a man suffering from at least one gunshot wound. The victim was transported to a hospital. No arrests have been made and there is no suspect information. Anyone with information is asked to call KCSO at 861-3110. Let's take a look outside now. You can even see the mountains in the background. That's just how good our air quality is. We're sitting at 61 degrees and we're not going to warm up much more throughout today. We're going to warm up to 65, so only four degrees warmer than where we are right now. It's feeling really nice, very similar to yesterday, but we're going to cool down to 43 tonight. So we're going to be in those low 40s across the valley floor and back up to 75 tomorrow. Once again, staying similar to today and Sunday's not too far off either, but there is a system coming in that could bring us rain on on Tuesday night into Wednesday, and that could stick around for Thursday, so we could have some rain on your Thanksgiving holiday. We'll talk about the chances of that coming up next. And a big day today for children and families across Kern County for the 17th annual National Adoption Day. The Kern County Department of Human Services will host a special day for families at the Superior Court Juvenile Justice Building. Celebrations will include both children being adopted out of foster care, as well as those being adopted through private adoption in Kern County. Once the adoptions are finalized, families are invited to attend a celebratory event. You can celebrate Thanksgiving a little bit early this weekend in East Bakersfield. The fourth annual Season of Peace event is happening tomorrow in the Dollar Tree parking lot just off Niles and Oswell. Local organizations, including Bakersfield's 103.9 The Beat, are joining forces to host this Thanksgiving event. The goal is to give away at least 150 turkeys to families in the neighborhood. There will be live music and various giveaways. It's all happening tomorrow from noon to 2 p.m. And Kern Transit has announced a new route that will take riders from Bakersfield to Santa Clarita and back. Check this out. The Transit said this new route will open up new opportunities to travel to L.A. on public transit. In a statement from Kern Transit, the company said this is now the most affordable and convenient way for residents to travel to Southern California. And it's the only way to get to and from L.A. from Bakersfield in one day. Kern Transit said there are also express routes for business commuters. According to its site, the routes general fares for intercommunity are $3. And right here in Bakersfield, it's going to be a little easier and less expensive to get around this holiday season. That's because Golden Empire Transit, they're going to be offering you free rides this holiday season. Get officials saying that fixed routes and get a lift buses will be free to everyone from December 1st through December 31st. However, gets ride service will continue to collect its standard fare. During the holidays, the CHP is out in full force, not just keeping our roadways safe, but also making sure no child is forgotten this Christmas. The Chips for Kids toy drive is put together by local CHP officers who collect new unwrapped toys and other items for infants, tots, and teens. CHP officials say when they started the drive nine years ago, they helped a few hundred kids, and now they help about 4,000. The drive is accepting more than toys. They're also taking blankets, bikes, clothes, shoes, athletic gear, and more. And the best part is kids get to shop for their own present, making the gift that much more meaningful. If you'd like to help out, there is still time. You can drop off items at all local Walgreens stores, Motor City and the Auto Mall, the CHP headquarters, and even right here at our 23 ABC studios. The drive continues until December 17th. In this Kern Back in Business segment, Kern Behavioral Health and Services is partnering with various local medical agencies to host a career expo. The expo will be held tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at their administration office located on 2101 28th Street in Central Bakersfield. According to officials, the behavioral health field is growing and they are looking to find the right individuals to help their clients meet their recovery goals. There are several therapists and recovery specialist positions available. It's open to the general public. Candidates are asked to come dressed ready to interview and bring copies of their resume. And as we are heading into the fall and winter months and after our first measurable snowfall of the season earlier this week, Alta Sierra Ski Resort is looking to hire workers for the snow season. This weekend, the resort will be holding a job fair. It's also happening tomorrow from 9 a.m. till noon at the resort in the warming hut.
It's about as close as you can get to visiting the fictional Jurassic Park without the threat of being eaten by an actual dinosaur, and it's coming to Kern County. The Jurassic Tour will come alive in what organizers are calling the most realistic dino event to roar into Bakersfield. The exhibit features more than 50 ultra-realistic dinosaurs in their natural habitat. It will take over the old Toys R Us building on Ming Avenue. Kids can reportedly dig for fossils, jump in a Jurassic-themed bounce house, and go for a 3D virtual reality ride. It's happening on on tomorrow and Sunday. Doors open at 10 a.m. both days. And you may remember him as the Walmart yodeling boy. Well, since then, Mason Ramsey has put out an album and a couple music videos. And tonight you can see him right here in Bakersfield. Uh... Do you remember that viral video? Now the 12 year old is going on tour and he's making a stop here in Bakersfield. He calls himself Lil Hank Williams because he was yodeling a Hank Williams song in that Walmart that made him famous. Since then, he's been on the Ellen Show, performed at Coachella and signed to Big Loud Records. Mason Ramsey will be at the Crystal Palace tonight at 8 p.m. Tickets are still on sale right now for as low as 20 bucks. You can get them at buckowens.com. And tickets will also go on sale for the Nickelodeon star Jojo Siwa. She will be coming to Bakersfield next year in March at the Mechanics Bank Arena. Tickets for the Dream Tour will be available today at noon. Tickets can be purchased at AXS.com or the box office at Mechanics Bank Arena. And we did notice there already are people in line for that, so it's going to be big. 